All right, so our, our problem is this. We've got um, a mass of five kilograms. And we've got these two support cables that go off like this. And these angles, even though I didn't draw them quite well enough, these angles are congruent. So these angles are both 18 degrees. Right? Which means that if there's symmetry here, these tensions are the same. Now this is like hanging an object in the middle of the clothesline. Okay? Now if the angles are not the same, like this, da 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 da, okay? If they're not the same, they will be different tensions, right? So we're looking at a situation here like this where these make the same angle. Now it doesn't matter how long the string is, it's the angle that they make that, that makes the forces the same. If the angle's the same, the forces will be the same. What's funny here is that the longer string in this case actually obviously has less tension than the shorter one, which should make sense. This one's more straight up. This one's just sort of pulling it off to the side a little bit, right? Okay. So we're going to look at both of these. Let's look at this one first because it's easier. Okay. So um, what can we do? What should we do? What did it say to do? She's like raising her hand. Go for it. Calculate the weights. Calculate the weights. There we go. Okay. So 5 times 9.81 is our force downward. 5 times 9.81 okay, is 49.05 newtons. And that's a downward force. I will draw that here. Okay. 49.05 newtons. And then what's our next thing? Yes? Um, express and calculate components. Express and calculate components. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw the components here, okay? So um, I'm going to draw a force this way. Okay, I'm going to draw a force this way. Okay, I'm going to draw a component this way to the side. That's a horizontal component. There's a vertical component. Do the horizontal components help hold this up? Do the horizontal ones by themselves help hold it up? No, they're acting to the side, which is kind of funny because they're longer than the vertical ones, aren't they? Right? So here are the vertical components. It's only this part of the force that's actually holding the thing up, right? And then if I drew this correctly, these are the same size, and they are roughly, right? And then if I was really hyper correct, the downward force is twice the length, right? So that's a little bit long, so we'll just correct that a little bit here. Okay, so, so these two upward ones are counteracting this downward one, right? And then these sideways ones, they have to be equal but opposite. Did I draw them? Yeah, that's sort of-ish, yeah. Okay, um, so there's strong symmetry here. So then it said, didn't it say to express the components? Since we don't know what T is, we have to just write the components in terms of T. So that's what I'm gonna do now. Okay, so this side here is opposite the 18 degree angle, right? So this is going to be T sine 18, right? And this side is also the side opposite, right? So it's going to be T sine 18. And then this is the adjacent side to the angle, so it's going to be T cos 18. It's going to be that guy. Right? And then this one's going to be T cos 18, this side here. See how I like used that 18 that was already there? I thought that was a really neat touch. There you go. One try. Yeah, you could, and just say it's twice that. You know? Okay, so, so we've, got, um, we've got these guys fighting against each other in the X direction. We've got these guys in the Y direction fighting against this guy in the y direction, okay? So, does everybody know why one's cos and one's sine? Do I need to explain that? Let me explain it anyway, because there's probably somebody sitting there going, I, I don't remember why that is, right? So, this is the opposite side. Remember, sine is opposite over hypotenuse. So, therefore, the, the opposite side is h sine theta, right? And then cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. So, the adjacent side is h cos theta. 
right? So Katoa. So now we're all set. The, the, net, the last thing we do, I think, is that we set up equilibrium equations, right? And remember, an equilibrium situation is that we add up all the forces and they add to what? Zero. When they add to zero, the thing does not accelerate, right? And what we do is we do, we say all the forces in the x direction add up to zero, all the forces in the y direction add up to zero. So let's look at the ones in the x direction. Well, the ones in the x direction are this guy to the right, so he's positive, and this guy to the left, right? So those are the ones we have. And this is the stupidest equation ever written, but I will write it because I'm not afraid of doing stupid things. Okay. Ta da! There we go. It has only one variable. It is one equation with one variable, yet we cannot solve it, and that's because it's a truism. Once we simplify the left side, the left side also becomes zero, and we are saying that zero equals zero. Yes? All right. This is what Congress is doing right now with the budget. Okay, so now let's look at the y equation here, right? Y is... Well, in the y direction, we've got these guys upward, right? So those, that's positive. This guy's positive. This guy is negative. Hey, woo, in trouble? I don't know. Probably though, right? Yeah. Dun, 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 dun. Dun dun somebody in the back row. What did you do? What did you do? She wasn't sure you're in trouble, so I don't know, you better go. Or you can wait till I do this. I don't know how immediately immediately is. Okay. So you guys were on the edge of your seat. Everyone say bye to Maggie. Bye bye. Bye Maggie. All right. Class. Come back. Come back. We're now about to set up an equation that's not stupid. Okay, so I've got T sine eighteen, right? plus t sine 18, okay, minus 49.05 equals zero. This one is solvable and it's not a truism, whatever that's called. Because this guy was down, right? So we're, we're expressing equilibrium as in these two upward components minus the weight adds up to zero. Yeah? Uh huh. That's because the, in the x direction, these guys were the only thing in town. There was nothing else. But here, there's the force of gravity down, right? Now, silence. Yes. Equation with the variables. This is just add up all the forces and they equal zero. Yeah, that's the equation. So. In, listen guys, be quiet. In F equals MA equations where it's accelerating, the sum of the forces equals M times A, yes? And that's what the skill set today is about. In these, the sum of the forces, it's simpler, the sum of the forces is zero in all of these. So we've moved on, this is like chapter nine stuff, okay? So this thing, I can rewrite this guy as 2T sine 18 equals 49. 0 0.05, and then finally, t is equal to 49.05 divided by 2. This is the part where I would not want you to talk as well. Okay, so that's 49.05 divided by 2 divided by sine of uh, 2 sine of 18. Do that with your calculator right now. Take your calculator and try to do it with one step. Don't go divided by 2 and or divided by sine of 18 go 49.05 divided by and then you might want to use parentheses around this whole denominator right yeah so do that 49.05 